So I asked Natalie to come and train me because like I said, I had done a couple workouts with her before and she's like a super awesome personal trainer. She really takes everything into account, every single muscle group into account and her being a competitor herself, she knows how important all of this is. Um, and I knew she would put me through things that I really hadn't done before. And what I would encourage you all to do is to ask for help. Sometimes the best workouts that I've gotten have not been self-driven. They've actually been with my coaches or with my friends. Um, and she took me through things like negatives um, that I probably wouldn't have done myself and through these all these different motions for my shoulders that I really think could benefit my overall shoulder development. Um, and it was also super motivating to have one of my best friends there like pushing me along this way. So Natalie is one of those people that really knows how to get into my head and she knows when I can push and she knows when you know I can do more and I think that's super important to have someone there like pushing you like that. And if you guys notice, she's wearing like my One Tribe shirt and I just love her. And I love her dreads and I think that she's one of the coolest people I know and she's also one of the hardest working people I know. So I couldn't think of anybody better to come and train me for shoulders. Um, she put me through a fantastic workout and I thank her so, so, so much for coming to train me because she it was kind of like, almost like a two hour drive for her to come here. and. Um, I'm just super grateful for her and our friendship. And um, also at the end of this workout, she also did something with me that I really don't incorporate that much unless I'm doing like yoga or something, but we did a lot of uh, stretching and mobility stuff. And I really feel like that is something that is really just so important because if you think about it, after you're done training, after your muscles are all nice and warm and they're ready to be stretched, um, that's when you really want to that's when you can really get the most optimal stretch, I feel like, in your muscles. And if your muscles are all stretched or all tight and like bogged down, then your lifts are gonna suffer, your circulation's gonna suffer, and then your muscular development and pop and shape is also gonna suffer. So the things that we incorporated today, the drills at the very beginning, um, then we did a little bit of heavy lifting in the middle, um, some of the typical shoulder movements, some of the heavier lifts, and then we brought it back down to very, very isolated um, things that just worked on actually just like external and internal rotation. And then at the very end, the stretching. So I really am excited that you guys got to see this workout because you can see a really awesome, like well, full, well-rounded, full workout that I think everybody should kind of take into account is, is that those three steps, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Um, and really you can do that in all of your lifts. So don't, you know, just shoulders, but maybe look up some stuff that you can look up for different kind of back activation exercises to start off your back workout with. And then also, you know, some heavy lifts in the middle and then finish it off with a lot of stretching. Um, I totally recommend that. And I totally recommend asking your trainers, your friends, people who work harder than you, who know more than you um, for help. Um, I truly think it'll benefit you. It's totally benefited me. And Natalie, if you're watching this, I can't thank you enough for coming. Um, I love you, girly. And thank you for an awesome workout and for putting me through this. I wish you nothing but the best with all your businesses. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you soon.